I'm Tim Stocker. I'm the product manager of energy storage for SMA America. And I'm Chris Larson. I'm director of business development for DynaPower. So I'm going to talk about the PV inverter and then Chris will talk about the DC disk converter. So what we have here is our Sunny Central UP platform. This is our current and next generation PV inverter for the utility scale sector. What we have here is shown is our DC coupled option ready PV inverter. It includes the connection points for up to six DC converters. What you have here shown is up to six two pole fuses where you connect up to six DC converters. And the inverter itself includes all of the integration work that we've done together with DynaPower uh, to make sure that the solution is streamlined and as effective of a product as possible. And here we have the SMA DC converter uh, that we worked extensively with DynaPower. So Chris is now going to talk about some of the technical specifications. Yeah, thanks Tim. So yeah, what we're looking at here is a 500 kilowatt DC DC converter. So this marries up to the SMA Sunny Central uh, UP inverter. So this is a 500 kilowatt block right here. These can be put in parallel to help developers have the flexibility to size their storage package appropriately versus their solar array. So inside of here we have typical IGBTs, we have an air-cooled system, and this is a capability of both operating as a current source device, charging and discharging and following the voltage set by the SMA inverter, but also can operate as a voltage source device where it's actually emulating the PV array, for example, if we want to discharge the batteries at night out through the inverter. But again, this is a 500 kilowatt block right here, and we can do these in parallel to right size the project for the developer. One other important feature that's worth mentioning with the SMA inverter is that it does have bi-directional functionality. That is to say, we usually think of DC coupled systems as charging the batteries strictly from the solar array. However, if you have a bi-directional PV inverter, when necessary, you can grid charge those batteries. And there might be a variety of different use cases where that's going to become important. And at the same time, you may not be risking the ITC, that is the investment tax credit that's applied to the batteries. It does allow for grid charging. And so if you have bi-directional functionality in your inverter, you will have that flexibility to not only charge from the solar as you would do most of the time, but also from the grid as needed. So with the SMA DC converter, uh, it allows you to apply many different use cases for the DC coupled energy storage market, such as clip loss capturing, which is something that una you're unable to do with an AC coupled system, but also allows you to do time shifting and be able to shift out the complete energy derived from PV and shift it towards the afternoon hours as well. So it allows for a, a very flexible different types of applications. And also, I think one other thing that's, that's nice about the DC coupled architecture is that it gives you the option to add storage later and it simplifies the interconnection process. So you have the one point of interconnection being yep. the, the inverter. You can actually go ahead, design, install your PV array without the storage up front. Yep. Because of the DC coupling architecture, you can add that in. The SMA inverter is already uh, DC uh, coupling prepared. So you can add this in as an augmentation later on in the project. Not only that, but you can also start with a certain size of DC yep. storage add to that later on. So again, it gives a lot of flexibility to developers and also simplifies the interconnection process. Mm -hmm. So thanks for joining us, appreciate your time. If you'd like to learn more about our product and, and our offerings that we have, you can visit our website, sma-america.com. Thanks.